Hey second graders, Ms. Shannon here with our writing lesson for today. Remember that we are continuing with our book reviews and opinion writing. Today is lesson three, writing incomplete sentences. So far, we have developed your opinion by introducing the book and writing out your opinion on our planning sheet. On Tuesday, we supported your opinion by giving a reason for your opinion and finding text evidence from the book to support your opinion. This was an example of my opinion that Mercy Watson is an unusual pig. And I had text evidence from page 67 um, where I said that Mercy acts, acts like a human and my example was him sleeping on the couch like a person would. This was my example of my planning sheet where I filled in my opinion, my reason, and my example from the text. So right now, I would like you to find your planning sheet for your book review and have it next to you because we will be using it today. You will also need this sheet of paper. At the top, it is titled Book Review, Rough Draft, and then I have chosen to use the one that says With Sentence Starters. So I'm using the sentence starters to help me build my complete sentences and to format my book review. So this should be in your folder that you picked up at the last packet pickup. Pause this video as you find your paper and press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, so second graders, I am going to show you how I will take my information from my planning sheet and put it onto my rough draft paper in complete sentences. I will color code each of my boxes and show you where I put the information into my rough draft. So the first box, I have labeled it kind of a pinkish red that had my book title and the character name in it. So I'm going to show you where I will be putting this information into my rough draft. The information from the first box was book title and I um, and the character. So I have highlighted that sentence. I wrote, I read the book, Mercy Watson to the Rescue by Kate DiCamillo. So you are going to take the information from the first box in your planning sheet, just like I did, and plug the information into the blank spots on your rough draft. I have already written out my rough draft. I'm going to read it out loud to you. And then on the next slide, it will outline where all of my information came from, from my planning sheet. So my rough draft reads as follows. I read the book, Mercy Watson to the Rescue by Kate DiCamillo. My opinion is that Mercy Watson is an unusual pig. I think this because she acts like a human. For example, in the book on page 67, Mercy curls up on the couch with a pillow to take a nap. So here, second graders, is a better visual example of how I entered in my information into my rough draft from my planning sheet. Now, I had already written incomplete sentences in my on my planning sheet, you may not have, so that is why we're using our sentence starter page to help us. So you can see in blue is my opinion, and you can see the box where I found my opinion on my planning sheet. My opinion is that Mercy Watson is an unusual pig. My reason is highlighted in yellow on my planning sheet, and you can see I said my reason was she is unusual because she acts like a human. 
And so when I went to write it out in a complete sentence in my rough draft, the sentence starter starts with, I think this because, and so I said, I think this because she acts like a human to match the reason from my planning sheet. And finally, an example from the text on my planning sheet that is highlighted in purple. And I use the sentence starter, for example, in the book, and then I wrote out the rest of my information. For example, in the book, on page 67, Mercy curls up on the couch with a pillow to take a nap. You can notice that from my planning sheet to my rough draft, I did make slight changes. For example, for my example from the text, I had originally said, Mercy takes a nap on the couch with a pillow. When I went to write my rough draft, I added a little bit more detail. I said, Mercy curls up on the couch. So instead of saying she takes a nap on the couch, I said she curls up on the couch with a pillow to take a nap. I wanted to include a little bit more descriptive language for my example. So second graders, you are going to take the information from your planning sheet and plug your ideas and opinions into the rough draft with the sentence starters to help you as a guide. After you have written out your information into your rough draft page, you can take a picture of it and insert it in the blue box and I will take a peek at your work. Thank you for working on taking your planning sheet and turning it into a complete sentence and paragraph of your opinion.